All right, guys, we got a massive flying fish behind the boat. We're thinking about a flying fish catch and cook. What do you guys think? Comment down below if you want to see us cook this monster. I'm gonna wait until I get the perfect shot. Yeah, baby! You watch. Oh Live I, action! I have a history of shooting a lot of fish with the spear gun from the surface. I won't tell you what fish those were, but you guys can use your imagination. Sailing swell after ours. <laughs> I know exactly the shot I want. How many beers have you had? I've had a few beers. Not that many beers, not enough beers to shoot the boat, but enough beers to hopefully hit the fish accurately. Oh, oh I missed! I missed! <laughs> oh. oh, that was a shot too. All right, all right guys, round two. What's happening over there? <laughs> They're helping me out. The oh! Look at that fish! Look at the wings! Look at that Look thing, at, though. What is that thing? That could be a your Indian mirror fish, your Kagami. Really? As a baby, yeah. yeah. As a baby. Maybe, Maybe not, though. That thing is crazy looking. All right, Ryan, game face, game face. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Yes, oh That's a big line fish. Yeah, it is. This is our, our dinner tomorrow night. So have you heard so people cool. eating them? Yes. That's a thing? No, dinner is Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh no! no! I clipped him! I clipped him and now he's gone! I'm sad. He's gonna get him, bro. Guys, I just, guys, I just nicked him. He's not happy anymore. He's, he's moving a lot faster than he was before. Guys! I freaking got him! Look at this! <laughs> that is the biggest flying fish ever. Stone shot through the head. Guys, this is dinner tomorrow. Catch and cook flying fish coming right up. What a beautiful freaking animal. Look at this. How cool is that? Look at that shot. Could you have been in the more of the center of its head? Huge eyes, almost like a nighttime animal. I had no idea. It smells kind of bad too. It smells like a mullet. It smells like a mullet. He resembles a mullet it a lot. Like a mullet. All I know is like my my friends from Barbados. They all love these things. So we're gonna reach out on Instagram and we're gonna see what you guys say. And somebody's gonna come back with a really sick way on how we're gonna cook this thing up. Back in the kitchen now with these flying fish, and now that we got some light, we can really check them out. Look at these freaking wings. I've seen these things my whole life just take off in front of the boat and fly all over the place. That was my first shot right there. Just kind of nicked him, and the second shot was a kill blow there, right through the brain. Couldn't have asked for a better, a better way to harvest one of these things. Sam's got some kind of cool Caribbean recipe. These guys are actually like a staple of like Caribbean seafood. So super sustainable, bait fish type style, life cycle, I guess. And uh, all I'm gonna do is, the goal here is to get the fillets off. So, I'm gonna fillet like the smallest fish I've ever filleted, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Look at the eggs. Holy crap. So that is completely eggs right there. So what I've heard before about the way they catch these flying fish in Barbados and Bermuda is they actually come up and they lay their eggs like on palm fronts and that's when they like throw the nets and circle the nets and get them when they're spawning. And I bet that's what he was doing last night. He was coming over to the boat and he was trying to lay his eggs up on the hull. This fish does not smell wonderful. Struggling, guys. I should have scaled him first. Give it a quick scale job. Just to make it a little bit easier to crush through these. Sam, I'm so sorry about the scales in your house. Absolutely not okay. That's a lot easier. Alrighty. That's it. 
That's all we get. It looks like a gray mulletish sardine something. I don't know if this is a surprise to you guys, but there is not a lot of meat on a flying fish. So we got our fillets there. They are not big. They don't smell wonderful. We are going to marinate the fish, the gray. The beautiful fillets. I mean. The sashimi grade fillets. I don't even know if we can make this into a sandwich since it's such a small fingerling, but we're gonna fry it. But first we're gonna marinate it in lime juice and salted water. <laughs> okay, so now we're doing flour with a little bit of onion, a little bit of parsley, salt, and pepper. For wet ingredients, we're doing two eggs and a splash of milk. We're waiting on that fish to marinate. We got everything else prepped and ready, and we're gonna feed these little guys because they are freaking insane. That's the what? 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 Wow, he ate that so quickly. No, he's a freaking ferocious. You're ferocious. Okay, so here is our fish. Are you pleased? I am not eating this. <laughs> well, there's really not enough for two of us anyways. Okay. The actual recipe that we're using calls for bajin. I don't know. Barbados seasoning. I don't know what that is. A Google search could not at all tell me what that is. I'm using just random seasoning that I have. Don't yell at me. I can't say what it is. <laughs> Will they get mad? Yep. And then, the best part about this recipe is that it wants this to sit like this for 30 minutes. What? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't think we're gonna skip that part. The only problem with this recipe is that we don't have 10. That's we're, the only problem? That's the only problem. We were supposed to have 10 of these flying fish, which would have made a lot more sandwiches, because honestly, I'm starving, and we didn't think this through all well, the way. I can have all of these. I can have all of them? <laughs> Sam is also gonna show us her top secret french fry recipe, which I'm I'm hoping comes out really, really well because I can't share we're hungry. with you though because Those are all for you? <laughs> These are homemade french fries. The key with them right now is to cut them like all in a similar shape and size. I have not perfected this recipe yet, but basically the trick is that you have to put it in the freezer or in like ice cold water for half an hour, the potatoes after you cut them. I think what it does is it gets the starches out, but I'm not sure, so don't quote me on that. Can, can I just We have, have mini rolls because we have mini fish. No, but can I eat one right like, now? I'm I so think we're gonna hungry. have to cut these in half. Yeah. <laughs> Back off! No, seriously, let me eat one no, right now. This is what happens when you wait until, when you go hunting and wait until 9 p.m. to start making dinner. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed all of our spearfishing content up until this point because it's pretty much done. I've become like a hardcore hunter. That's all I do now. Every single day I go hunting and that is why all I'm really capable of shooting anymore is these tiny little flying fish. Piggy bunny! <laughs> Sam, I'm so hungry. You're such a fatty. It's not like I need to not spoil my dinner. Look at that. That's all we got, guys. Yes, we need to wait till the cat and get to done eating so that we can cook our dinner. Cats are fat and happy. French fries are going in the oil. I'm gonna fight you for this. It only needs like two minutes and I'm gonna win that battle because you wanted to eat flying fish. I felt we owed it to YouTube to show them what a flying fish tastes like. Okay, so I almost always screw up the first batch of fried fish, but this time I literally do not have a second batch of fried fish. So, I can't screw this up. Got one shot. Got one opportunity. Ah! They look good. They smell good. These are all for me, huh? None for you. I want that I want that in writing before I try them because when they're delicious, then you're going to try and steal them.
These are all for Ryan. Love Sam. No. Love Sam. <laughs> There's no love there. That, that means love. Love Sam. Okay, Sam, tell me what you got going on. Okay, so we're double frying the fries. Meanwhile, I've got my buns a toast in. Taste test, double fried french fries, what do you got? They look incredible. They look incredible. Oh my god, they're freaking crispy. They're freaking crispy, Sam, you've done it. They're good. What? They're good. They're good. They're not perfect? No, they're really good. They're not McDonald's? Oh my god. What are you talking about? Sam. Mm. Sam. That one was perfect. Maybe I need to cook these just back a little bit longer. Oh my god. Screw spear fishing, we're done. Hunting and french fries, that's all you're gonna see coming up on this channel. If you're not down for that, just go ahead and unsubscribe right now. We don't we don't want you here. Okay guys, I promise you, we have not tried this yet, but it looks freaking fantastic. Toasted Hawaiian rolls, homemade french fry. How could this fish not be delicious? Sam, that's good. No, that's freaking good. I really like the batter. You know, the batter is really cool. The fish is good. You cannot even say it's not good. You've covered it in spicy mayo, in a breading, in toasted Hawaiian rolls with butter. I don't like the fish itself. The batter is really good with the onion and the parsley. It has a lot of flavor. I'm pretty impressed, I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna feast on this. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you liked these kind of crazy catch and cooks with just random stuff that we find, let us know down below because there's so many cool fish out here in Hawaii that I've never eaten, that Sam's never eaten, that I don't know if anybody's all right. Oh, the French fries are the best part, I agree. Guys, thank you so much. Let us know what you think down below. Leave a like if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time right here on Ryan Myers Expeditions.